Now I'd like to introduce you to the HAL newborn. The HAL newborn is a 50th percentile average size, 40 week gestation baby, has motion, skin changes color with oxygenation, yes you can do IV and you can do all the airway adjuncts and you can simulate all the factors that are important for you to show proper APGAR scoring and as care is given to newborn HAL, he will improve or not improve. That's newborn HAL. The first task following the arrival of your newborn HAL simulator is to ensure you have received all the equipment and accessories. Remove the tablet computer, which is packaged separately and connect the RF module to either one of the USB ports on the left side of the tablet. Located in the newborn mannequin case, you will find several accessories, such as replaceable leg bones, a tibia bone skin, a set of interchangeable genitalia, a blood pressure cuff, replaceable arms, silicone oil, and a battery charger. Remove the fully assembled and ready to use newborn mannequin from the case. It is however strongly recommended that the battery is fully charged prior to use. Now that your newborn HAL Total Mobile Solution Simulator is ready for use, let us take a tour of his many features, such as a realistic airway, breathing, palpable pulses, bilateral IV arms, and catheterizable umbilicus. Newborn HAL can be intubated orally using an endotracheal tube if ventilations are required and nasally if a nasogastric tube has been inserted. Once intubated, sensors detect the depth of the intubating tube. Should the tube be inserted too deep, the left lung is automatically disabled, realistically demonstrating right mainstem intubation. Correcting the tube position enables the left lung. Additionally, newborn HAL can be ventilated with a BVM or a mechanical ventilator. Ventilation and manual chest compressions are measured and logged showing the instructor exactly how students are performing. Newborn Hal has several upper airway sounds synchronized with his breathing, such as normal breathing, grunting, or crying. <coughs> Users can easily control rate and depth of respiration and choose independent left and right lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns multiple sounds are available. <laughs> Newborn HAL is equipped with several realistic heart sounds which are tied to a user-defined heart rate and selectable rhythms. Newborn HAL's conductive skin sites allow the attachment of real electrodes. This feature permits the user to track cardiac rhythms and events with their own equipment, just like with a human patient. Newborn HAL's palpable pulses are dependent on blood pressure. The following pulses are available. Fontanelle, brachial, 
and umbilical. Users can also disable distal pulses. Programmable blood pressure can be read using a sphygmomanometer and users can auscultate the Korotkov sounds. Newborn HAL has bilateral IV training arms that could be used for bolus or intravenous infusions as well as for drawing fluids. In addition, he has IM sites on both his deltoids and quadriceps. The cyanosis feature allows the user to control the pallor of the newborn HAL skin when hypoxic events occur. Newborn HAL is outfitted with a muscle tone mechanism that can be used in conjunction with scenarios. Each arm can be set to move individually or set to represent a newborn with limp muscle tone, reduced muscle tone, active muscle tone, or convulsion. The lower right leg has an intraosseous injection site with replaceable tibia bones. Newborn HAL can be catheterized via exchangeable male and female genitalia. For additional realism, virtual vital sign monitors are available in both fixed and mobile formats. Newborn HAL's control software is easy to use and intuitive. The tablet PC can be carried like a notebook and one-handed operation with the stylus adds to the portability of the system. The software framework used for Newborn HAL is utilized throughout the GOMARD family of high fidelity products. This means that once learned, the user can operate any of the simulators from the GOMARD tetherless family. The control panel is arranged in an easy to follow array of tabs. The status panel shows the user the current vital state being transmitted to the simulator by the controlling software. For visual clarity, the status window is broken up into relevant sections. Additionally, when any parameter is updated, the corresponding value is highlighted in the status viewer. From the status viewer, the volume of throat, lung, heart, and Krutkov sounds can be adjusted. The Details tab is the first one presented to the user after starting up the software. From this area, users can change the parameters associated with newborn HAL's physiological state. Whether it be adjustments on the fly or to generate pallet items for use in scenarios. Parameters are selected using the drop-down menus, three state switches, and integer boxes on the details page. They can be applied to take immediate effect or trended to change over a set time period. Palette items that have been saved from the details tab are displayed in the palette tab. For visual clarity, palette items appear in four different colors depending on the desired condition of the patient. Palette items can be altered at any time by clicking Edit, which takes the user back to the Details tab. They can also be deleted permanently or checked for properties with the simple touch of the stylus. As with the details, the palette items can be applied or saved to a scenario from the Scenario tab. For simulations to be most realistic, it is beneficial to use the scenario-based training sessions. For convenience, the software comes preloaded with several scenarios to get you started. With Newborn HAL, there are two types of scenario that can be programmed. The normal scenario is a collection of palette items that play sequentially over a set time period. This is the most straightforward of the two scenario types. The selected palette items are easily manipulated to adjust the flow and timing of the scenario presentation.
The branching scenario is the most advanced method of running the newborn HAL simulator. This option gives the benefit of the if-then type scenario. The branching scenario provides multiple paths for the scenario to follow. The actions of the care provider generate key events driving the path of the scenario. The instructor can check all the corresponding events on the software enabling the scenario to follow the correct path. The model tab contains a basic cyanosis model where the newborn HAL will experience deteriorating oxygen saturation due to a severe condition such as airway inflammation. The model can be initialized to any one of healthy, mildly cyanotic, or severely cyanotic states. Once the providers initiate adequate ventilations, all of the vitals will respond. Heart rate and oxygen saturation will increase and cyanosis will decrease gradually. Newborn Hal cries like a real newborn and also has the ability to demonstrate grunting sounds associated with respiratory difficulties. An important part of the simulation training is the debriefing session following the scenario. Gomard has included a log page with the newborn HAL software which captures each